offered to shake hands then he said I'm not going to shake hands with you with emphasis on the you did, did you pick that up who cares that he makes plans grow who cares what it does and you broke my heart who loves the wind who cares that he makes breezes who cares what it does and you broke my heart Who loves the rain? Who cares that it makes flowers? Who cares that it makes showers? Did you grow my heart? Who loves the sun? Who cares that it is shining? Who cares what it does? Did you grow my heart? Who loves the sun? Who loves the sun? Not everyone. Who loves the sun? I don't like some of the things that happened to me um, when I was there. As for her childhood, Janice says she spent the better part of it studying Scientology. Basically, I stopped going to school when I was. 16. Well, when I was 12, I was only going to school once a week. Though she says reading and writing was an important part of her informal education, Jenna never earned even a high school diploma. From a young age, Jenna says she lived away from her parents, raised in a separate home along with the children of other church executives, while her parents worked in the Scientology Center. When I was 12, I then moved to Florida to be, you know, in the core of the church. Um, and um, I only saw them once a year if I was lucky. Jenna says after years of separation from her parents, they decided to leave Scientology, but she stayed with the church, even though she was just a teenager. When you were 16, your parents got out, but you stayed. Why? Why would I leave with these people who I don't even know? Now Jenna and her husband Dallas, who was also a member of Scientology, have left the church. Scientology is featured prominently in Morton's unauthorized biography of Tom Cruise. 